back guys. So it's been about a month since I bought my Intech here and I uh, thought I'd give you guys a kind of first impressions slash uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, review, whatever, towing review of my Ram 2500 here. Um, obviously this is quite a trailer for that truck um, as far as length, not so much weight, but I uh, thought I'd just kind of give you guys a, a driving review and I'll let you know my first impressions on it. So let's go driving. Kind of fill you in i want to think on how this truck performs the 40 foot gooseneck all right guys so setting off out of here um i'll tell you right off the bat i'm completely blown away with how this truck handles this trailer um i thought for sure it would put up a little bit more of a fight and uh i guess i say that on both power terms and stability um, I thought the truck would fight a little bit harder, um, or at, I guess at least throw a little bit more of a fit, um, however I want to say that. Um, but as you can see, I mean, I got no problem building speed here. We're about to get down the freeway too, so um, you'll kind of be able to see the acceleration. We are about to jump into a, like a 25 mile an hour headwind, so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, guys, right off the bat, um, I don't want to say I was ever discouraged um, that the competition has has good a bit more power. You know, GM now with their new Duramax and Ford with the high output, and you can get the high output in F two fifty. I thought I, I was like, ah, you know, three seventy eight fifty on the power for this truck. Um, definitely feel like you know I'm down. I'm I'm kind of sacrificing the power for other things like ride quality and and. I like this interior and I just like the truck and the fuel economy and all that. Um, but guys, to be honest, the, this thing doesn't even know that that trailer's back there. And I'm, I'm like 15, 20% throttle maybe. Um, it'll upshift here eventually. But yeah, no problem on the power front. Um, as you can see, we got a grade coming up here where it's just gear. Oh, actually, that's because I didn't turn the... I didn't turn the cruise control on. Whoopsies. There it goes. Yeah, guys, no problem climbing grades whatsoever. Um, we did have this trailer at just shy at 10,000 pounds or about 9750, 9800. Um, I have everything actually weighed that I put in the in the trailer. So it, we were just shy at 10,000 pounds. Um, truck did flawless. The truck towed it the same as if it was empty. The trailer empty only weighs 6,000 pounds. It's all aluminum, so it, it really doesn't weigh anything. Um, so just going around town and, and getting on the freeway and it's empty, it's, it barely recognizes it's there. You could feel it because you've got such a long trailer behind you. You could definitely feel you're dragging it around, but I mean, otherwise, uh, you know, when we're talking about power, um, it's nothing. And stability... Uh, for being a coil spring rear end, guys, this thing does fantastic. Um, my dad's actually got an F350 dually. It's a little older, but um, nonetheless, it is a, is a dually. And uh, he's upgraded the rear leafs on that truck actually as well. And this truck, grossing out higher, actually feels more stable than that truck. Um, I've driven that truck <clears throat> for years and years. No, like no comparison. This truck's actually better than that truck, um, which was pretty surprising to be honest. Um, you know, I thought a F-350 dually, it's, it's a dump truck, gets, uh, it tows around 8,000 pound chipper and sometimes four or 5,000 pounds of chips. Um, and that thing, you know, even with a half load, um, it just does okay. Uh, compared to this, I'm, I'm very impressed with the way this truck handles this trailer. I'd never feel the back end moving around. Um, I never feel the trailer pushing the truck, nothing. It, it's, it does really, really well. Um. So I guess kind of going off of, uh, going off the power segment, you know, let's, let's go and say that now. Um, this truck, the, or I guess we'll, we'll say engine characteristics, we'll go off the engine character characteristics. Um, the exhaust brake on this truck is ridiculous. Um, I know that Ram, everybody says Ram's got the best in the business for the exhaust brake, but this thing's brutal with 
the trailer behind it. It's, it is fantastic. Um, all I basically have to do to stop the truck, you know, I don't have the gain very high on the trailer um, for the trailer brakes. Um, I think it's at four and a half, um, but it's certainly not higher than five. But uh, guys, all I got to do is rest my foot against the brake pedal and, and the exhaust brake. Between the exhaust brake and the trailer brakes, the truck will come to a stop. I don't barely have to pedal the brakes and actually use the brakes on the truck. Um, my only complaint really is actually tow haul mode. Tow haul mode on the, on the deceleration stuff, it does great on XL. Um, you know, it, the, the shift commands um, when you're accelerating or just maintaining speed, going up a grade, it, it does not, it likes to stay in six gear as long as possible, which I really like. Um, and this truck's got plenty of power to move this trailer at 10,000 pounds. It does not need to downshift a fifth at all. Um, so I like that it does that. I like the shift program going, you know, basically going from zero to hero, uh, you know, freeway speeds basically. But decelerating, it, it commands such an aggressive downshift pattern where it, it tries to get you into like third and second gear as quick as possible. So um, what will happen is you'll be, you know, well, let's say I'm doing 60 and I'm getting off the freeway. It'll downshift, then it'll give you like a quick like one and a two on the exhaust brake, boom, downshift again, one and two, downshift. It is, it's almost not letting the exhaust brake go long enough to actually, you know, slow you down. Uh, it just wants to hunt for that gear, basically to get you at like 25, 2800 RPM, which is almost excessive. Um, not that it's, it's, it's still doing a really great job, so I'm not gonna complain about it because it it's slowing you down without barely using the brakes. But I would just say that it, it really could use more exhaust brake because the exhaust brake perf performs so well from that, you know, 1800 to 2400 rpm it really doesn't need to rev the motor out to 28 2900 so that that's definitely um the only complaint i honestly have about this truck towing and guys honestly um you know going from that the fuel economy is actually fantastic on this let me show you my trip meter right now um i did this when i left there you go 135 miles, 12.8. We did just turn into a, a stronger headwind. It's kind of been a crosswind. It's like actually a crosswind. I'm just looking at a couple flags and windsocks actually to my right here. Um, it, it's been more of a crosswind than a tailwind or a headwind the whole time. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, a 45 degree tailwind. And then now we're at about a 45 degree headwind here for the, uh, the rest of this trip. Realistically, I don't think it, it, act, it doesn't actually get that good. Um, it's closer to about 11 and a half, 12. Um, but really, I mean, still for what we're doing right now, we're moving about 8,000 pounds. Um, but for what it is at 40 feet, you know, it's not necessarily as much about the weight for the fuel economy as it is the drag. Um, this thing is doing fantastic, guys. So really, those are my first impressions. Um, I'll be doing more tests on this in the future. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with the way this truck performs, um, towing this trailer. It is within the payload, actually. Um, I just got to watch it just a little bit. Um, but it, it is within the payload, and it's well within the gross combined. Um, that's something I've always been like, ah, I don't really don't want to push that uh, that number, you know, even though I know it'll do it just fine, um, just for my own mental well-being, I guess. So um, I wouldn't be towing it around if the truck couldn't handle it. Um, and it really it only squats two inches. I have measured it. Um, if it wasn't leveled, the truck would actually still have a tiny bit of rake to it. So I'm kind of almost thinking of taking the level out of the truck, to be honest, um, you know, just to get it sitting flatter while I'm towing. We'll see what my what I end up doing. That was very nice, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's the first impression. Um, I'll be doing lots of stuff. Let me know if you want me to see anything, um, any towing tests or anything like that with the truck. Um, until then, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.